What's up, folks? Max here, and we're just about T-minus two months from the release of Titanfall. And oh my god, we have not heard that much. Other than the initial reveal at E3, the little bits of tidbits and the small trailers they've just released, we finally got to see that there are going to be multiple different types of Titans that you will be able to use in combat, like a mid-range one, a heavy gunner, and a strider type of, like, running around, quicker one with less damage, which is good. That's going to change the gameplay variety quite a bit, but we have not heard much about the Xbox One version. I think only thing ever anyone's ever seen of the game has been on PC, and there's been no other confirmed details except for recent and it was that Titanfall, with its huge, massive, crazy multiplayer glory, is only a 6 versus 6 shooting game. Now this comes as a shock to a lot of people, and there was kind of a huge explosion on the internet, because Titanfall isn't a really big anticipated title. There's dudes that made Call of Duty 4 on this team, there's dudes that are responsible for a lot of history and legend shooters, games that will always go down in multiplayer infamy, that are making Titanfall known as Respawn Entertainment, and for this to come out, it's kind of like, what? Even myself, I mean, I, I enjoy Call of Duty for very specific things nowadays, and Ground War is one of them, even though I stopped playing the latest one. I do like a large amount of people on the map. I like, I like crazy combat, I like things going on all over the place. I enjoyed my Search and Destroy run, I enjoy the 1 versus 1 or like 1 versus 3 type of things. That's enjoyable, but... When I really wanted us to jump into a match and just play a game, man, Ground War was perfect for it, and it was like 9 versus 9. Now the big problem is that with 6 versus 6, where's all the action? What are you going to be able to do with it? And this was everyone's major concern. Titanfall appears to be a game that's huge in scope, that there's always something going on. And everyone is like, I don't know if that's going to be happening now. We might be served this awkward dish of just looking for people all the time. But... The thing is, I've actually talked to people who have played Titanfall, and when they played it, it was 6 versus 6, as, as they were confirmed later, and they were like, that did not feel like 6 versus 6. It felt like there was stuff going on absolutely freaking everywhere. There's this thing with AI opponents somewhere around the map, and they actually have the ability to do certain things to allow more players on, but the actual controlled humans in a match is going to be a maximum of 12. Now, the thing is, a lot of the guys at Respawn responded with this, and they said, this game is designed specifically around 6 versus 6. We tried lower amounts, we tried higher amounts, but we found this nice, steady number. And the number is 6 players on one team and 6 players on another team. Anything beyond that just gets a little too freaking hectic. So, I trust these guys. I know these guys have been doing this shooting game multiplayer design thing for a long freaking time, and I, I kind of trust them in what they're talking about. There's other evidence that has recently popped up to kind of negotiate around this, the fact that this isn't a huge catastrophic thing that, oh my god it has to be big in scale with a whole bunch of people or it's not going to be good. Something along the lines of, if you think about the mechanics and the design of the game, if there's a certain type of spawn system or the action is concentrated in certain parts of the map and then you have to move then it should be totally freaking fine. There, there should be no reason, because as long as you're focused around where the action always is, 6 versus 6 is a lot, especially if you're like one or two guys and you come across four dudes or like the entire team. Well, that's that's going to be that's gonna be a nightmare. I highly doubt in a game like this you'll be able to go ham-beast ballistic in something like Call of Duty because the damage ratio is so low in these games. It's I, th I think it's a little bit higher in a game like Titanfall, so I'm, I'm thinking that it might not be the best situation. Don't think of it like it's Call of Duty. Think of it like it's something different. Don't always associate that just because it's the Call of Duty original guys that made this, this is going to be something different, and maybe 6 versus 6 is just the right balance. Now, I'm not saying they're right, I'm not saying they're wrong, I'm not saying everyone complaining is a bad thing, all I'm saying is that play it first to find out. Because the other evidence that recently popped up was the fact that you can't just have your Titans out and f pilot them around. You can actually do multiple different things with your Titans. So if you have 6 people on one side of a match, each one of those partners can actually do multiple things with their Titans. Whether they want to pilot it, they can actually put it into follow mode, so one person technically turns into two that you have to shoot, or they can put it into defense mode, where you can have six other defensive Titans around with, like, you know, one per person, of course, but they can be doing other things. So, essentially, at that point, it becomes a 12 versus 12 game if everyone has Titans available. And I'm, I'm not too sure specifically if they've announced how Titans are going to be acquired, but I'm pretty sure it's a time and score-based thing, and it's not a kill streak. I'm pretty sure this game is devoid of things like killstreaks, but we'll find out when it eventually finally does actually release. So if you think about it, do 12 versus 12, a 24 controlled things on a map technically, even though the fact that the Titans are technically AI in some situations, that's a lot of freaking targets. On top of the other AI targets that are running around with Titans, 
That sounds like a war. That sounds like a freaking crazy battle. And this is probably why the presumptions of a lot of people that played the game was that, dude, it's just crazy. There's just stuff going on everywhere. You always got to move and jump and do all this stuff. And that's what I kind of been looking forward to. So all I'm saying is that from what I understand and hearing that how many things can actually be on a map that you can shoot at to get points for your team, because it's kind of like a single player multiplayer hybrid game, just wait. Wait till we play it, wait till we get our hands on it, and stay tuned because we're getting really close now and I'd imagine a lot more information is going to be popping as a result of Respawn Studios to finally get a look at the game and understand what exactly is going on in the bigger scope because I have a funny feeling that there is some information and there are some details that they are keeping hidden right until the release of the title. But let me know what you guys think about Titanfall. Are you just as excited for this game as I am? Are you really worried about the 6 versus 6? Do you think that's a huge crushing blow for this type of big epic multiplayer game? Or do you have faith in the developers of the guys that made Call of Duty 4 and several other excellent titles before that? My name is Maximilian. Thank you all very much for watching and consider subscribing if you're looking forward to Titanfall. I cannot wait for this game to come out. Take care, folks, and I will see you next time.